Hi, lovely to have you here. Welcome to the Electro Revolution channel. My name is Michael and I'm a car and tech enthusiast. In this series of episodes, what we'll be going through is the OTA update on the BYD Addo 3. Now, I was actually surprised to see the OTA update come on the screen of the Addo 3 when I first turned it on. So I immediately said I'm going to perform these updates as soon as possible and we're going to film them, film them for the advantage of the uh, BYD community. So I hope you enjoy these episodes. In this particular episode, what we'll be going through is of course turning on the vehicle. We'll be checking the menu system. We'll be going through each of the enabled options. And then of course, we'll leave everything else to episode two. So I hope you enjoy this episode. So this is the BYD Addo 3 that I own. What I'm going to do tonight is go through the actual settings of the car as soon as I turn it on. And I'll be performing the upgrade at some stage right after that. And then after that, I'll go through the exact same settings and see what's updated in the vehicle. So to turn the vehicle on, I just press this button here. Holding the brake, of course. And the vehicle comes on. Okay. So now essentially I just want to go through the settings. So instead of holding this phone, what I'll do is I'll put it on a tripod. Okay, now what we can see is right here we've got an upgrade option. That's what that red arrow is. Now, if you remember when I did the BYD seal OTA update, I had exactly the same thing. But we're not going to perform the upgrade right now. What we do want to do is we want to check the menu system. We want to check the settings and then we want to perform the upgrade. So let's take a look firstly at the version of this. Now these are the menu options, of course. Now it does say the upgrade option there, which I'm not interested in doing right now. But if we view the IVI details. Of course, there's all the apps. Being an Android system, that's what we'll see in there. The storage, security, permissions, disable auto start and so forth. We don't need to look too much into that. Okay, let's look at the ADAS. Now this is a BYD Addo 3 2023 model. So what we're doing here is uh, checking that for this particular model, uh, what's enabled in the options. Active safety. Parking assist. Of course, you've got the panoramic images. We're very accustomed to this, of course, with BYD. Okay, let's just go back to the active safety. We've got blind spot assist. These are the options that are enabled. ESC off and hill descent control. That's actually quite good to have on, but for some reason it does disable itself every now and then. Driving assist. The lane support system. Traffic signal recognition. Okay, let's go to the energy. So we've got regenerative braking on high and the range is dynamic. Now I can explain what those mean if you're interested, just leave a comment. 
charging settings the smart charging of course that's that's this option here uh, technically I, I don't use that at all in my setup because I've got a home charger that does it all charging port immobilizer system what that essentially does is when you're charging your car it locks the uh, it locks this port into the car when you've locked your car now there's the consumption the consumption curve of course this is very basic information we go to the vehicle the intelligence chassis information the lights external and rear view mirrors auto fold so when you do lock your car the rear mirrors auto fold the AC settings the seats with heating The locks the notifications okay and the service so of course this is my information for the service the next next time the car uh, needs to have a service the vehicle information check status it's all beautiful complete and of course we've got this drop down menu now if you remember from the BYD seal OTA updates this was totally revamped so it would be interesting to see if we have a similar thing in this OTA update and of course the menu items so we've got BYD assist here we've got the phone music navigation and so forth Now, I would assume the navigation would be updated just like the BYD seal. Now, of course, I'm in an unnamed road because I'm in a shopping center at the moment. But you see here, it's still quite responsive. It does the minimizations and, and all of that stuff. We've got here to search the petrol stations, or I should say EV stations, EV charging stations. This essentially calculates the distance I can go with the current range I have. Now I do need to charge the car, of course. And the EV, uh, sorry, and the nav settings. Now, I do assume all of this is um, upgraded on this upgrade. I haven't performed it, but we'll see. So that's the nav system. We've got Spotify, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, the Media Center. I don't want to go into the Media Center just in case it turns on the music. The vehicle images of course I doubt that's going to change much the settings of the car of course the karaoke and the browser and here the utilities we've got the farm manager disable auto start the data monitor the BYD store and the theme so what I would be aware of is the store would be upgraded. So going here, what we've got here is the browser, the Amazon and the Stingray. The Stingray is the karaoke and there's an update to the browser which I can perform when I get home. Okay, one thing I didn't check was the air conditioning. 
So let's check the aircon. We've got the seat heating for the Auto 3, we've got the air purification, and we've got the settings, which we've seen before. And while we're here, so we might as well check the themes. Maybe under the utility. There we are, themes. So these are the themes you can get for the Auto 3. There's the version number and the wallpapers you can get. Now, of course, I don't really like using the defaults that come with it. I, I include my own uh, images within the vehicles and I typically rotate these whenever I feel like it. And of course, that's all part of the album. You can actually go to the album and select the photo that you want and select the wallpaper button and it'll perform the wallpaper uh, application. So yeah, uh, what I'll do now is I'll go home and apply the OTA update via the wireless because I'm sure this is like a gigabyte file or at least a gigabyte file to download. So I'll see you there. So that was the end of episode one. I hope you enjoyed it. Now in this episode, of course, we went through the basic stuff before we perform the OTA update. And this is really done to perform a comparison between the old and the new. So if you did like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share this content with someone that would be interested. Of course, that would be a BYD owner or just leave a comment. I hope to see you on episode two. Until then, bye for now.